side. And so there's a certain way of God to announce this. Um, he person, then it's his speech title, which is pocket full of stars. Pocket full of stars, he person. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <clears throat> when I was young, my dad didn't talk to me much about life. Nothing about the birds and the bees. Nothing about how to act as a man when I grow up or what books I should read. But if I failed to do my chores, he would say to me, Boy! You must be itching for a licking. Now get out there and pull them those weeds. <laughs> them those weeds is exactly what he said. As the going got going out of control, I would sit out sometimes at night, look into the sky, into the way, milky, and reach as far as my arm would allow and grab a star, but it would slip out of my hands. My efforts futile, I failed. As I grew up, I continued to fail. My greatest failure was math. All I ever wanted to be when I grew up was an engineer. But as the saying goes, you must be good in math if you want to be an engineer. Well, guess what? I didn't get the memo because I sucked at math. But I still wanted to be an engineer. So here I was in line for registration, first day of college, I step forward to the counselor and he says to me, I see you want to be an engineer. Well, according to your college entrance exam, it appears that you scored very low in math. You know, engineers have to take that stuff called calculus. It's a very challenging course. And I don't believe a person like you could pass such a class. I suggest changing your major to something a little bit more easy for you. <sighs> Once again, I failed. Life hit me with a fury of combination blows, knocking me to the ground. A failure by knockout. That night, I sat on the porch, again looking into the sky, thinking about what the counselor said to me that, that day. And I knew that if I wanted to hook up wires as an engineer, I would have to see my way to this class called calculus, whatever that was. So I contemplated. And then again, I reached, I grabbed another star, but this time I grabbed hold of it and I placed it in my pocket because I knew one day that I would shine. I just didn't know when. College algebra I took and failed. College algebra I took a second time and failed. College algebra I took a third time and failed. College algebra I took. But the fourth time was a charm. But each and every time I failed that course, I would go out, reach, grab a star, and put it in my pocket. Calculus was no joke. Much more difficult than algebra. Calculus is the course the dream killing course that ends the career for many would be engineers. And here I am today, final exam day, 
going into calculus for the, into the final exam with a D minus. So it was literally mathematically impossible for me to pass the class unless I got a perfect score on the final exam. No mistakes, not one. The kid ahead of me passes me my exam. It falls to the ground before I can take hold of it. I pick it up. I look at the first problem and my mind goes blank. And then all the lights in the classroom went dark. It was pitch black dark in sync with my mind. I was lost. I didn't know what to do. I was ready to give in, ready to give up. Again, I had failed. I slowly rose from my chair to begin the long walk to the front door. But for some reason, it was difficult to walk because my pockets were filled with the stars that I had collected on my way. So I reached deep down into my pockets and I thrusted the stars into the air. And all of a sudden, the entire room was full on bright. I turned back to the exam to take another look and every problem was crystal clear. The next day, Keith, Daniel Person, calculus final exam, 100% two gold stars. So I say to you, never give up. Nuka said Inda, never give up because you too can be a star if you reach for it. Thank you. Somebody's got to clean it up. <laughs> <laughs>